All right. Um, Fifteen years ago, on my radio program, Doctor, I said that marijuana should be legal. You were absolutely right. It's uh, it's it's happening now, slowly but surely. Uh, here in Nevada, we've got medical marijuana. In Colorado and Washington, they've got more than that. They've got go buy what you want marijuana. Mm-hmm. And we're in the middle of a revolution, finally. Fifteen years ago when I said it, people said I was a devil. And I was leading people into a horrible lifestyle where they will rape and pillage and God knows what. I really took a lot of heat. Marijuana has been the cornerstone of uh, drug therapy yeah. in, uh, the, for the world. Well, I you know, ten thousand years. Yeah, giving Doctor uh, Gupta credit here uh, because I'm just a radio talk show host. He's a medical consultant to a gigantic network, and he blew the top off this what a couple of years ago now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I give him credit for that. And now you, you tell me what you think of marijuana. The um, and there are various forms, oils. There's a plain old smoke in it. And uh, and so forth. Does it help? Oh, it helps tremendously. There's uh, there's a hundred. Last time I looked, there was more than a hundred and four different cannabinols, mm-hmm. which are uh, 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 ingredients in cannabis, right? Which is the marijuana plant, and um, each one of them has a separate effect. And you do not have to get high. The THC, which is tetrahydrocannabinol which is the component of cannabis that gets you, that has a psychoactive component that gives you that, that, yes. that, that, yes. that, that, that buzz, yes. that can be deleted from, the, from marijuana. And you can buy it legal. You can buy marijuana legally, by the way, in all 50 states. You just can, it's not the, it's not the THC. The THC is what's the illegal part of it. The legal part of it is through the other 103 cannabinols. The other 103 cannabinols do tremendous things with regard to improvement in immunity, improvement uh, protection against uh, uh, whether well, they, they have antioxidant effects, they have protection against uh, some aging-related disorders, they are good for arthritis. I mean, the list is on and on and on. They help with sleep, uh, help with anxiety. Uh, you know, uh, some of the cannabinols stimulate, di- stimulate appetite. And which is very good for people with cancer because their appetite is, is, is shot because the cancer itself uh, in late stages produces uh, uh, these chemicals uh, in the body that, that ruin your appetite, that just make you feel horrible. And uh, the, uh, the marijuana helps that. Uh, it also, there are some components of, uh, of the uh, plant that actually inhibit appetite. So there's all these various... Uh, effects that you can get out of this one plant. And that's why for thousands of years, marijuana has been uh, one of the most uh, uh, ubiquitous uh, mm-hmm. medicinal herbs on the planet and uh, is the, the real reason, why, by the way, why cannabis was outlawed because it was, uh, uh, I'm sure you know this art, but uh, the original Model T Ford, the first car, the first mass-produced automobile, yeah. was designed to run on what? Gasoline? No. It was designed to run on hemp. Hemp. Yeah, hemp. I know. Okay. And I, I know. This is another case of idiots. I don't want to sound like Donald Trump, but idiots running the country. Um, I can't think of anything particularly negative about marijuana. Uh, even in the getting high part, you get high. Uh, you get no headache from being high. Uh, when it goes away, it, it it doesn't leave you with a hangover. It just fades away. Uh, people, people, people driving on marijuana, <laughs> not that anybody would recommend that, but they're liable to be the ones doing 45 miles an hour, not 120. Right. So it, 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 it's just it has none of the horrible bad effects that they assigned to it that I'm aware of. Right, but it did get in the way of certain industries. It got in the way of the gas industry. How about booze? It got in the way of the uh, textile industry because hemp clothing lasts forever. Yep, yep. How about booze? How about booze, doctor? I mean, if you compare the two, booze is horribly damaging. It costs billions and billions every year in the economy from the damage that alcohol does. (laughs) So I would think they would have a big interest in suppressing cannabis 
until it doesn't exist if they could do it. Right. And hemp uh, paper, by the way. The Constitution of the United States yeah. was uh, published on hemp paper. That's right. Uh, the uh, George Washington was the largest hemp farmer in the United States until the 19, what was it, the 1930s, you could pay your income taxes with hemp. Mm-hmm. There's people uh, out there going, was <gasps> the major cash crop of the United States. Are they really saying this? Yes. This is all fact. This is all absolute fact. And what happened was there was a, cons- a conspiracy. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't generally believe in conspiracy theories, but there was a conspiracy uh, at the, you know, among uh, industrialists and the government mm-hmm. to outlaw marijuana because it got in the way of uh, paper manufacturers and uh, clothing manufacturers and pharmaceuticals and, uh, you know, a few other companies. And they wanted to get rid of it, and by God, they did, and they, they, they outlawed it. Mm-hmm. And then they, 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 they compounded that, that, that crime by turning it into the biggest boogeyman in, uh, yeah. uh, in, the, in the war on drugs. What did they do? How Make it a schedule? Uh, it, in, stu- in some places, I think it is still a Schedule two drug, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. And and what and and that's you right. Can, it's a it's a felony, and you could go to jail for many. Oh, many yeah, years. and that's right in there with like heroin, and a crack cocaine. Yeah. In fact, LSD. I, LSD. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what a horrible uh, thing we did. Two, by the way, Schedule One. Schedule, Schedule One. One. Okay. Even worse. Yeah. Even worse. Yes. Horrible. 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 And uh, so if somebody has cancer right now, and I have some friends that do. Um, they use marijuana, and it helps them tremendously with the symptoms they have. Number one, from the, you know, these body wrecking drugs that uh, people have to take for for cancer. Uh, mm-hmm. These chemicals, it helps them fight the nausea. It helps them feel better, and it's against the law. Right. So. Um, what would the downsides medically of marijuana be? Well, I mean, you don't want to, you know, you, you need to understand that it is a, a psycho, there, are other, there is a psychoactive component in it unless you get the THC depleted oils, which you can. You can get the THC. I have, I have a, a hemp oil right here that I use for uh, joint aches and uh, arthritis, and I use it for, uh, you know, if I get a, a cut or a scrape. Uh, you can use uh, the hemp oil for uh, your skin as a cosmetic. So if you get the THC-deleted uh, hemp oil, uh, you have every, all the ingredients uh, minus the THC, and it's legal in 50 states. Uh, the only downside that I can think of with the marijuana is you don't want to operate motor vehicles with it, uh, and you may end up uh, getting, uh, you know, uh, getting a little you know, uh, sloppy or, you know, foolish or, uh, or lazy if you, uh, if you uh, imbibe on it at the wrong times. Do you know, I think that was the, w- one of the main things that drove uh, making pot illegal was the government feared that people would become less productive. At least they used that excuse. And, you know, there might be something to it. I mean... Yes, somebody might smoke pot and sit back and contemplate the world when they might otherwise have gone and cut the lawn. I don't know, but yeah, but they can also have a you know a, a six pack of beer. Oh, well, look, <laughs> the danger to society from alcohol is far, far bigger than anything from marijuana. As I mentioned, right. if I were given a choice, you don't ever want to face anybody driving in the other lane on anything at all. Uh, no, but, but given not. a choice between somebody on pot, somebody on alcohol, a drunk driver, I'll take the pot guy anytime because he's probably crawling along. Mm-hmm. Now, the other the other interesting thing about uh, about marijuana is that it's a immune it's immune activating drug. Oh, it stimulates the immune system, and so it has another benefit for people who have autoimmune disorders such as uh, uh, multiple sclerosis and also arthritis and also cancer. So there's a, there's, a, there's a whole lot of good news to this. And the government themselves published these papers back in the 1970s saying that this, the, that, this, that this substance had tremendous benefit, but it was suppressed. <laughs> the, the research was suppressed. 
because uh, I guess they didn't want to get caught, uh, you know, uh, being at odds with themselves. Not only that, but our jails, doctor, are filled to the bursting point um, with many, many, many uh, people who arrested for some level of marijuana, something or another. If we were to empty the jails of the marijuana arrests, they'd be pretty empty. Well, then we'd have room for the illegal aliens. <laughs> oh, my. Well, all right.